So, um, if you guys have 2x plus 5y equals 3, and we have negative x plus 3y equals negative 7, what we want to do for this problem, like I said, we're going to use elimination that we talked about. Um, now, remember, when we use elimination, we're looking at certain types of problems, right? One thing, we want to make sure our variables are aligned and our numbers aligned. So when we add or subtract, they're automatically in their like terms, right? We want to make sure they're aligned. So we have that going for us. The next thing, though, to use elimination, to eliminate a variable, we have to have the same number in front, right, as your coefficient. So I look at the x's. Do the x's have the same number in front? No. No. So we can't use elimination, either adding or subtracting, for our x variables. How about my y's? Are my, do my y's have the same number in front? No. no. So I can't use elimination, actually, for the y's either. So if you come up to that point, one thing you could do is use substitution, right? Remember what we did when we practiced substitution? Or what you can do is we can actually get to have the same numbers in front. So if you look at this, if you want to put the same number in front for y, well, that's a 5, that's a 3. How do you put the same number in front? Well, this one would be a little bit difficult. You'd have to multiply both of these numbers by different numbers. You have to find what we'll call the LCM, right, least common multiple. So you have to multiply 5 and 3 by different numbers. It's going to get a little confusing. We'll go over a problem like that later. Here, if you look at this, what do I need? To, what number, what is the smallest number that these two, um, if that's a one, right? So what can, what's the smallest number that two and one share? Two. What is the smallest number that two and one both go into? Two. Two, two right? Two times one is two, and one times two is two. So that's the smallest number that, what we call the, that's the lowest common multiple. So what I need to do is I need to get that negative two, I need to get this to be, instead of being at one, Right? It's really just a 1x. I need to get it to be a 2. So, here's a mistake that a lot of students will make. Okay? Which one of these provides, which one of these gives you 2x? Top one or the bottom one? Chris, what do you think? The top one, right? 2 plus x does not give you 2x. So don't give that to me. Okay? So if I want to make this to be a 2, what do I have to do? I have to... Add or multiply by 2? You're going to want to multiply by 2, right? So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to write this whole thing out, and I'm going to say, I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 2. Why do you multiply the whole equation by 2? Well, you want to multiply the whole equation by 2 because remember, when we were doing equations, remember whatever you did on one side, you had to do the other side, right? Equations are equal. So if you're going to multiply something by 2, you've got to multiply everything by 2. We're not gonna. We're just gonna try to. We're just gonna try to eliminate the x's. We're not gonna try to eliminate the y's. First off, we're just gonna eliminate the x's, and then we'll finish off the rest of the problem. Okay, Alex? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna multiply two times all of these values. So I'll still have two x plus five y equals three. The top equation is unchanged. You don't need to do anything to that. Okay, it's unchanged. The bottom equation though now becomes a negative two x. Two times um, three is gonna be a six y. 2 times negative 7 equals a negative 14. So does everybody see what I did? When I multiplied that out, I got this new equation. Now, what's so? why is it so special to have that new equation? Because now, do I have the same number in front? Yeah, now I have the same number in front. Now I just need to look at, is that, do they have the same sign or do they have opposite signs? Well, since they have opposite signs, I'm going to use elimination by addition or subtraction. Right, right. Remember with the same number with opposite signs you want to do? Subtract. What are you doing? Addition. Equal coefficient, same sign you want to do. Oh, I'm sorry, that same sign you do subtraction. So opposite sign you want to do addition. So all I want to do is add them up. So 2x. What? Oh, I was saying. Yeah. 2x plus negative 2y gives you 0x. 5y plus 6y gives you 11y, positive 11y. 3 plus negative 14 equals a negative 11. Okay? That eliminates, 0 times x eliminates not my variable. So I have 11y equals negative 11. Y equals negative 1. Y equals negative 1. Okay? However, now I know the value of y. To find the value of x, I need to plug my negative 1 
and for one in my equations. It doesn't matter which one you want to plug it in for, just plug it in for one. The top one. Uh, top one? Okay, fine. So 2x plus 5 times negative 1 equals 3. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. Now we're at a two-step equation, right? Now I need to solve for x, so I need to undo everything that's happening to my x. So I add my fives. So I get x equals 4 and y equals negative 1. Am I good? And there it is. That's your solution.